Good morning, Holy Spirit, for giving us a joyful heart to celebrate this day. Precious and ever-living God, we praise you for the gift of godly living, the result of godly thinking. Holy Spirit, help us to think positively this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, the power of the mind is awesome since it's evident to realize the mind is the control tower of character. The mind is the control tower of conduct and conversations. We can think effectively or unprofitably, rightly or wrongly, and the rest of life will be influenced by this thinking. The power of the mind is obvious or clear that our thinking now will affect our behavior years down the road. We can think evil and live righteously. It just doesn't work the way. Beloved, godly living is the result of godly thinking. More so, we all have unique thought patterns carefully put into our thinking by our parents, our teachers, and our peers. Also, families have unique thought patterns, and these are engraved, these are chiseled, these are inscribed, or cutting, or etched in our minds. Right or wrong, shame or honor, they are still there. Moreover, the problem with poisoning our thinking through the world system is that we eventually become hostile towards God. The crucial and underlying message of the world's thinking is be independent. But the message of the word of God is be dependent on God gradually, slowly, but surely our dependence on God and his word is eroded because we are unconsciously adopting the world's thinking. Friends, the problem is when the Lord Jesus saved us, he didn't erase all the faulty thoughts patterns our peculiar or unique mindset is still intact satan likes to take advantage of or profit from 
this past wrong or flawed or faulty or false programming. The devil doesn't want us to think about positive things, let alone renew your mind or my mind each day with the meditation of the reading and studying the word of God. Friends, no one is forcing you to watch rubbish, listen to rubbish, and read rubbish stuff. No. Satan and the flesh is delighted to bring it up to our attention, but doesn't force it on us. We make the notice and we pay the price in thought life. If our thoughts are really the powerful, if our thoughts are really that powerful, and they are, and if they really influence us that much, and they do, then Reasoning or the strict thinking question is how do we deal with problems in our thinking? We know we think wrongly. In a sense, we think erroneously at times. How do we cope with it? Knowing that some of these false thinking come from watching rubbish stuff, thinking through the world system, and you no know, p- parents as well as family taught parents. Beloved, you and I need to reprogram our mind or our thinking by recognizing that you have the mind of God. The Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. He is abiding in you. When Christ saved you, He gives you the capacity to think like he thinks. What a wonderful privilege. And also you need to sift your thoughts through the word of God to the will of God. Beloved, do it today by asking yourself, what does the word of God say in this particular situation that I find myself? Remember, the Word of God is living and powerful to say positive things in your struggles today. All you have to do is believe and trust the living God and His Word. Stay blessed and have a good day. Bye.